for Android, for Pixel devices, for months, if not years. And the time is finally here. We can really look at something substantial. As part of Android 16's quarterly platform release number one, beta number two, it's actually kind of here. So guys, first, let's look at this. This is my Pixel 9 Pro XL, and I'm going to show you how to enable this first off. Obviously, you're going to have to be enrolled in the Android 16 beta to have this available to you. From there, what you're going to do is go into your settings. You need to make sure that developer options are turned on, which is very, very simple and straightforward. Go into About Phone, scroll all the way down to Build Number, and click that a bunch of times until developer options is enabled. From there, we're going to go into System, and then into Developer Options. We're going to scroll all the way down here, pretty much to the bottom. We are looking for Window Management. Enable desktop experience features. I'm going to go ahead and turn on these other two things as well, and then we need to reboot the phone. From there, all you need to do is plug your phone into a secondary screen. Now, what's strange here is I was expecting a pop-up to appear to ask me if I wanted to do this, but that did not happen. I just got a little icon that appeared in the top corner. And if I show you now this USB capture device that I plugged it into, that is the desktop mode. Now, as you can see right now, everything looks really like weirdly small, but there actually is a section in your settings that might help. In your settings, if you go into connected devices while you are plugged into this external display, you'll have this new option for external display. And in there, I think we can turn up that display size. Let's see what that does. All right, so using my Bluetooth mouse, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the app drawer so that we can kind of get a full look at how this is gonna look. Yeah, this is obviously way too small. So I'm just gonna jump all the way to the biggest setting. And I think that that actually does look pretty much perfect. So let's just fire up an application. We'll do CX File Explorer because it's nice and simple. And what you see here is a floating window, just like we're using a proper desktop interface. And what's cool is my phone is able to just do whatever I want it to do. It is a separate device right now. I can use it on its own independently, and it's not affecting what's happening here. So I can drag this around. I can actually minimize this window, which is just gonna place it on the taskbar down here next to the icons that are at the bottom of my Pixel device. If you look at these icons here and you compare it to this, what you'll see is those are the exact same icons. So whatever you put down there is what is going to be on your taskbar in your desktop mode. This is just like how the taskbar works on the Pixel Fold devices. But I can click on this file explorer and bring it back up into focus. Let's go ahead and maximize it and see how that looks. Basically as straightforward as you would expect. Let's move my camera out of the way. And of course you can bring it back down into this smaller view and you can also snap it to the left or right just like you're using Windows or something like that. What happens if I drag it over to the side? Does that initiate snap? It does, that's great. If we fire up the Chrome browser, you'll see a fairly desktop looking experience. I'm curious though, can you drag a tab off of this to open up a new window? I don't think you can. You can rearrange the tabs, but I don't think you can drag it off. You'll also see that you have little controls down here at the bottom as well, which is kind of odd. So I can click that to go back. But of course, you could just use the back button in the web browser. Clicking this should, you know, normally go home. But of course, there's no like home function here. So I'm not really sure what that does. And then the square is going to bring up your multitasking, which I guess is actually in this instance doing virtual desktops. You can clear this desktop. What does this over here do? This, yeah, okay, so that opens up a new desktop. That's interesting. So they actually have a virtual windowing or a virtual desktop sort of situation. So it looks like in the top right corner, all I can see is my battery indicator, and I can't really do anything with that. Over here is the clock and some notifications, but again, I can't really do anything with that. I can't swipe down to get to notifications or anything like that, so things are definitely not fully functional. If I Alt-Tab, I get this popping up, which is a little bit strange, but I guess technically it would still kind of work. Let's click on this window here. Now that I'm thinking about it, when I'm alt-tabbing, some of these applications are apps that were actually running on my phone, not on this desktop mode. Whenever I click on it, yeah, okay, so it's going to open up that thermometer app that I tried to use, and that's definitely kind of strange because now I don't have the controls in the top right. I can also see more things now that everything's black, so some of those icons I think just weren't appearing. 
I have this bar here that I can drag down to go into this windowed mode, though. So that is all very, very strange, but I think kind of notable, if for nothing more than just to point out how things are a little bit fragmented still. So definitely not a fully complete desktop environment, right? So if you want to get to your notifications, guess what you're going to be doing? You're going to be grabbing your phone and looking at them on there, at least for now. That's stuff that's going to get fixed, but for now, that's just how it is. Now, because of the way that I was actually capturing that, it probably looked pretty darn blurry. So I do want to show you how it looks on a normal screen, just sort of filming off screen like this. And as you can see, the text is pretty darn clear. Like it's nothing that would stand out to me as looking bad or anything like that. Everything seems pretty normal. I will say I probably do have this set a little bit too large. And what's interesting is on this screen, it was set back to the default state, and yet that's how large it is. So it looks like it actually kind of understands that it's on a different screen and is therefore giving you a different uh, a different layout. So something about my capture card maybe was throwing off the scaling a little bit. But nonetheless, guys, here it is working on an external screen, and I think that it looks and behaves pretty reasonably well. If I grab another application, we'll just grab File Explorer again. You can see now I've got these windows snapped side by side and I can scroll around and do different things. Now, that was interesting because some of this over here does look like it's scaling kind of strangely. I'm not sure if that's the desktop mode or if that's just Chrome or my own website or something like that. But regardless, this is how it looks on a true external screen. So there you go, guys. After, like I said, months and months, years of rumors about how Google was working on their own Samsung DeX-like thing for Pixel devices, for Android devices in general, so many comments over the years about how this was never going to happen. It is finally, finally actually happening and you can install the beta and you can test it for yourself. Is it ready for prime time? Ready to compete against Samsung Samsung DeX right now? Absolutely not. But can you see where we're going? I think you definitely can. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about all this. Subscribe for more content like this and until next time.